Parkinson's, as we know, is a wildly fluctuating syndrome. You can have a great couple of hours, a bad few hours. I don't think anymore there's such a thing as a good day or a bad day. It, it's so wildly variable. And whilst I'm very responsive to levodopa, usually I get about 90% of myself back and there is going to be some residual problem. And I have to do a lot of travel. My job's very stressful. I have a lot to do all the time and I'm traveling about. Now, one of the things that was starting to concern me was that when I visit a city, and I'm often in, for example, London, which is hugely busy, I can be walking around quite a lot because I try to walk as much as possible as part of cramming my exercise in when I'm traveling. You can have episodes where you start to wear off and you could be walking down the road, a very busy road, or on the London Underground when I've hopped on the train and walking up the steps and suddenly my ankle gets incredibly sore or I get an attack of dystonia in my calf or my knee joints are popping. I get a lot of stiffness down the right side. I've lost a bit of rotation to the left now. I'm, my, my pills are working at the moment, but I'm still quite sore that way. And now, when it's super busy out on the streets, that can raise your level, if I'm honest, of anxiety, because you're walking slow. You're, in my case, my leg starts dragging for most of us, and I start shuffling along. And in a busy city, people are busy, and they're hurrying past you, and they're jostling you. It's an uncomfortable experience. I don't really need to use a walking cane unless I have a really severe pain in my ankle or I'm left with pain in my legs because I do get quite bad dystonia in my quads and in my calves and in my toes. And sometimes that continues even on the old dopa to a mild degree or I'm left with residual pain. And I didn't really know what to do about that. And then someone recommended this. They said, if you carry a cane with you when you're in a very busy place, people will give you more space or at least you would like to think that they would give you more space. I'm going down to London soon, in and out trip. I've got a lot of meetings. It's going to be exceptionally busy. There was going to be a London Underground strike, which meant a lot of walking. I think that's been called off now. But I'm going to take this cheap £20 stick with me. As a social experiment to see how much space I'm actually given and also to see if actually that just helps me because there have been a couple of times and I've literally ground to a halt because of the pain in my leg or I get a sudden dystonia attack in my calf or my ankle just gets a searing pain through it. And I'd like to walk that off and sometimes it's very hard without a walking aid. I'm not someone who habitually needs this. Hey, I could go for a run. I can hit a boxing bag. I can do some skipping. But that's the nature of Parkinson's. It's a fluctuating disease. And from my point of view, I think... We've got to use and do what we need to do to keep mobile and walking. Be interested to know what you think, interested to know what you do, and I'll report back and let you know what, what happens, and I'll probably do a video on location.